All right, guys, what is going on? Today, we're gonna go over how to beat a backdoor bird. As you can see, we have this bird in the middle. Backdoor 56 speed, so a little slower, has hair, egg bomb, and of course, Jinx. All of a sudden, we also have in the back a plant that can do massive damage, put up a bunch of shields, and of course, why so serious? The heavily buffed card is terrible to go against with Aquas. And then, of course, in the front, we have a very different type of plant, one that's basically trying to get rid of your shield, an attacking plant. Um, so whenever you're going against the team, the first thing that you want to realize, guys, no matter what MMR you want or you're at, so this is around 1200 to 1300 MMR, the first thing that you really want to ask yourself is who is the threat, guys? Um, in this game, you want to be able to take your termi and have your termi go against this guy 1v1 to hopefully get the win, but this guy can stop you from getting there. So the key to winning this game is having a well-timed stick of you so that you're not getting destroyed by this guy in the back. And this guy, remember, he doesn't have blackmail, so knowing what he's gonna do is egg bomb might be a good chance to get rid of his guy early so first round first things first is you probably want to get rid of this guy as fast as possible because he's going to annihilate your plant but let's see what happens so round one pass i agree with this now notice we have a lot of armor we can put up we also have a zero cost card here and some healing ability so let's see what happens here So round two, we pass here, and the reason why we pass is what she, my, uh, our scholar is looking for, Amanda, is she wants to get enough cards so she can take out this guy one hit. This guy, though, can put up a ton of shield in. As soon as your guy's down here, you're gonna definitely get some shelters, which is a scary card to go against. Yikes, that's a lot of damage. All right, so now we're in a situation where two on one. So again, a lot of games are won and lost in the first three rounds. Not much she could really do there in the first three rounds, unfortunately. Let's see how she can really bounce back here. So smart, she uses her heaviest attacking and even though you're weak against plant, look at how much damage she's doing here. Absolutely an insane amount of damage. And now you're in a situation where, remember, this guy's 46 speed, this guy is 57 speed, so having an Aqua that's faster than your than your Terminator actually protects your Terminator from backdoors, and now this guy is very scared, because he does some damage to an Aqua, but especially having Shipwrecked and he's only 56 speed, this Aqua is actually faster than him, believe it or not, so... Realistically, he wants to use Wooden Stab to damage him, but if he doesn't use his bird cards now, he knows he won't use them in the future. So let's see what happens here. Ooh, I don't think you want to burn your energy using a Shrimp here. I know you want to use the extra defense, but I don't think this extra 30 shield you get from Shintlin Jump is worth it. But let's see if it is the difference maker here. Yeah, I think I think in that scenario, you already have the lagging here. You use the shipwreck. No need to burn your jump, your chitlin jump here. Because you know this round you're going to get rid of them. And this person here is just loading up energy so that they can be in a situation where they can t possibly try to take your guys one on one. And remember, this person is, has this why so serious card. So they're basically going on the fact that they want you to tire yourself out and then they're going to heal back up. So in this situation, this is a tough situation to be in because this person definitely has enough firepower to one shot you between these two cards. They're going to one shot your aqua. I almost would just want to skip here. Honestly, you're not going to be able to do anything on him. You might as well skip. He puts up a 194 shield and he gets you out of there. By the way, guys, we got Ricardio in the building. What is going on, Ricardio? Good morning. And yeah, you let him one shot. Now, this is an interesting scenario to be in here. It's interesting because this person has a bunch of cards here. 
Hmm. So definitely, you know he's gonna come and attack you heavy. You gotta go for Chomp, Allergic, Mystic, and then Sticky You. I think that's the order. You're gonna expect him to put up some shelters here, maybe come from some attacks. And he's gonna put shelter first because he's expecting to get stunned, so no need to go for a defensive mood. I think it's just to go super aggressive and shoot through a shield. Let's see what Amanda does. Oof, so you go for the defense here. Not a bad move. Not a bad move. Defense is fine. And right here, you see defense was actually the call because this person went directly for a super amount of damage. So Amanda ends up making the right call here. Um, the defensive move. So notice this is why the Termies are so powerful. By the way, we got Jelly Burn in the building. Termies are so powerful because this plant misses the first move, hits her for the second move, stunned again, misses the third move, and then hits her for the fourth one. And look at how much energy to hit the Termie twice. They had to burn four energy. A fantastic outplay by Amand. So right now we're in a situation where this plant still doesn't have any damage but you know they just burned four energy so right now you're in a situation where you don't know necessarily this late in the game maybe she was counting cards maybe she doesn't you don't know the energy count but you gotta put some damage up on the board quickly because this guy might have you know he skipped a lot of turns so we might have six or seven or eight energy so with that being said you gotta put some damage up i at this point would go chomp chomp allergic chomp chomp allergic mystic honestly that's what i would do let's see what she does here goes for defense again so right now the clock is running out <laughs> the clock is running out you gotta put some damage on the board and again this person just has so much so much firepower at this point, they burned all their energy, so now you're in a place where they can't actually hurt you. So let's see what she does here. And again, she just termies them out. And this is the beautiful thing about the termie, which is a high level read by Amanda. When you see your opponent has no, they have no zero energy cost cards, you know what's gonna happen. Once they're out of energy, they can't even hurt you. And that's the call that Amanda did. And she's gonna take this guy in high waters. Look at this, can't even hurt you. And right here, this is where you really can do some damage. So I'm hoping, I am hoping, you got a couple things you can do here, right? You can go for the chomp allergic sticky you. You can go for the allergic sticky you chomp. One of the two I think is fine. You don't need to use all of your energy. You know they only have two energy here, so let's see what she ends up doing. So again, smart call by her. She blows through the shield with allergic. So notice how he's gonna they're gonna still have 84 shield, but you attacked right through it because they're stunned. That is the magic of the chomp meta. Goes for there. Hits them again with that, and then chomps them. Now they're at H HP. And because you know what time it is, they can only use two energy. Right there, they died in the Blood Moon. So the thing that I'll say about that game is, Amanda knows her team. There were some calls that I would make, but if you saw in those situations, she actually made the better decision in most of those calls. I would rate that game nine to 10 out of 10. Honestly, you played that perfectly. You saw they didn't have zero energy cards in the back and you absolutely made them pay. Fantastic game, guys. So guys, we not only cover the high MMRs like 2000K, MMRs, but we also cover MMRs like 1,200, 1,300, because we know a lot of scholars are around that MMR, and you want to be able to make sure you get those um, little kind of beginner traps or common mistakes down. So, guys, if you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna keep rocking out on Twitch. It's been your boy Fly Stewie and we Fly Crew. We'll see you next time.